now now we'll see how to create a truth table now whenever we'll create a truth table now the most important thing is to create the number of rows in a table now in order to create the number of rows in a table there is a formula is there 2 to the power n so the n stands for the number of inputs now suppose if the number of input is 1 so we'll see how to create a truth table for one input so in that case number of rows will be 2 to the power n means number of input as 1 so we'll have two rows only so the truth table having one input look like this so a is the input 0 and 1 now to create a truth table for two inputs so the number of rows so 2 to the power n 2 to the power so we'll have four rows only so the truth table look like this a and b are the inputs thus the standard format 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 now next is coming as to create a truth table by using three inputs so three inputs to table so number of rows will by using this formula 2 to the power 3 equal to 8 rows so we have these inputs a b and c so the truth table looks like this so this same sequence will be repeated two times so here four zeros followed by four ones now we'll see how to create now we'll see how to create the truth table by using four inputs now so the number of rows will be two to the power n so four inputs so total 16 rows so the inputs are a b c and d and the truth table look like this so the same sequence will be repeated four times and the truth table so you have to know or you have to know the format for this this is very important in order to solve the problem by using k map only this topic is coming as logic gates now these logic gates are of following types not gate or gate and gate nor gate NAND gate, XOR gate and XNOR gate. So total 7 types are there. Now we will deal with each gate separately by seeing the truth table as well as the circuit diagram for each. Now NOT gate. So NOT gate, the truth table and the circuit diagram is as shown here. So if you see if the input is 0 output is 1 if the input is 1 output is 0 always it is opposite and the circuit diagram now the truth table for or gate so the truth table so here it performs the normal addition so 0 0 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 1 so it's a normal truth table following the rules of addition and the circuit diagram look like this. so these are the inputs and this is the output now the third one the truth table for AND gate now so here it performs the normal addition circuit diagram for AND gate plus so A and B are the inputs the output is AB the next one is the NAND gate the truth table looks like this the output will be just the opposite of AND gate and the circuit diagram for the NAND gate looks like this next we will see the truth table for NOR gate NOR gate the truth table so the output will be just the opposite of OR gate and the circuit diagram looks like this so you have to memorize this circuit diagram next is the truth table for XOR gate now so here what you have and the symbol of representation of XOR gate plus with the circle now so here happen is whenever we will have the odd number of ones the output will be one rest as zero and the circuit diagram looks like this and the last and the last one is coming as XOR gate then x not get the truth table looks like this so where there is even number of one so where there is even number of ones 
So even number of ones, the output is one. Exception with this and the circuit diagram for the X nor get. This looks like this. The circuit diagram looks like this. Please, all these uh, these gates are very very useful. Please note down in your copies. These are important for drawing all the circuit diagrams in rest of the chapters. Now, the most important topic is simplification using Carnot map or we say as K map. Now, this Carnot map or a K map is a graphical display of the fundamental products in the truth table. Now, so the sum of products, now the sum of products reduction by using K map. Now, this K map, this is the representation of a K map by using two inputs. So, the how it is being done. And just below, we have the K map by using three inputs. And the next, see the truth table for using four inputs. So, this is the format and you see the numbering of each boxes like first row, second row, third row. So, the box numbering is very very important. This box numbering has to be done properly then only we can simplify a problem and the simplification can be done it can be done more easily with the help of a simple problem we'll see now there are certain rules to be followed while pairing now first is quad reduction rule means we have to form a pair of four and now in case of sop we are interested with one will forming a group of one and uh, next is coming as the octet rule octet rule means we'll try to form a group of eight ones together so it should be so it should form a rectangle now so and in case of for a quad we should see a grouping of four together now in your book you see how what are the different ways the groups can be formed so the groups can be formed inside as well as from externally also but there is no diagonal formation now the overlapping is also possible just we have to take a precaution that there should be except one should be left out from a group now for this we will see one example given in your book so here the inputs are given as summation so 0 2 7 8 10 15 so we have to solve it by using k map now so these are the representation so this m0 m2 m7 m8 m10 m15 represent the rows in other representation so this m0 m2 m7 m8 m10 m15 represent the rows in a table this is a truth table for four inputs so wherever those values are there in those corresponding rows will place one the same thing will transfer it to the k map so wherever those cell numberings are there in those cell numberings will place one and will form a group so first preference will go for uh, octet followed by quad followed by pairs so here we are taking four corners externally externally four corners externally and it is forming a quad and two ones in between is forming a group then finally this pair is formed and the final expression the final reduced expression is b c d plus b dash d dash this is the final answer for this problem and the next topic is coming as product of sum or in short we say as pos reduction by using k map now we'll see the map for sop first is for mm. two inputs how it is being done next is for three inputs k map then the last one is coming as four inputs k map please see the numbering of each of the boxes how it is given 
Now, in order to understand the POS better, we'll see with the help of an example. They have given over here with this numerical. So, he has given like all these numbers, 3, 4, 5, 6 onwards. So, these are the numbers representing the rows or the cell numberings in the K-map. So, wherever it is, we'll put the values. Based upon that, we'll proceed. Now, based upon this, we'll proceed. So, first we'll draw the truth table. Then, we'll draw the K-map. We'll place the numberings in those boxes. Then, we'll try to form a group of quad. Just we have to see there's from the existing at least one zero should be left then we'll come to this we'll try so quad one simplifies to this quad two simplifies to c c bar plus d bar quad three simplifies to b bar plus c bar now we'll form combine to form a equation and the circuit diagram for it looks like this now some exercises are given at the back based upon this SOP and POS. Please try to solve it in your copies. These are very simple. This can be easily solved with the help of the examples given in your book. Thank you.